Hey, 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 happy day 511 of documenting my journey from offline brick and mortar world of real businesses to the online world of business. Doing business in my pajamas online, working when I want, where I want, with whomever I want, wearing whatever I want, right? That is the whole purpose of me, Sharon Hornells, from being the pajama grandma. And actually, I am the pajama grandma. How it came about is I found myself day in and day out as I moved from the offline world to the online world in my pajamas like half the day or sometimes all day. Not And not bad in my pajamas, but in my pajamas a lot. I was going to a marketing seminar and I thought, hmm, who am I? What do I stand for? What do I believe? And what am I trying to create in the world? What is my brand? Who am I? And it was funny because I was talking to two people that I really admire and care about. And they both have very strong personas, but their personas began with somewhat of a hook, right? A hook is something that gets people's attention. And much to my family's dismay, Pajama Grandma works for me. It is who I am. And that leads me to what I want to talk about today. The topic of pain, the word pain. Now, pain most of us think of when we hear the word pain, oh, I broke my leg, it hurts like crazy. Or, oh, I've got a headache, it hurts like crazy. Or, oh, I got this cut on my hand or I, I fell on my face taking out the trash. <clears throat> I wonder who did that. And I skinned my knee and my hands up. <laughs> and we think of that kind of pain. We think of physical pain. And some of us experience physical pain. And, and that's part of why I want to talk about this because it's something I don't, I don't talk about enough or very often, I don't think. Um, but there's physical pain, right? But just as damaging or as um, powerful are things like emotional pain, spiritual pain, mental pain, um, environmental pain, pain that's caused socially by the people that we're around. I think social pain and bullying or being... Um, led to believe that there's something wrong with us because of some social interactions is becoming this huge, and is that emotional pain or mental pain? Or I don't know where that fits, but you can decide what category it fits into. The point is there's pain, financial pain. Uh, what other kind of pain is there? Relationship pain. Sometimes we're in relationships that absolutely positively suck the life out of us. And that is as painful as if somebody were banging our head against the wall or punching us in the face. Pain we all experience it, right? We all experience it at different levels. We all have different tolerances and ability to take pain. Now, I'm old, been through a lot of painful events and a lot of painful physical pain challenges in my life, um, up to and including a sudden cardiac arrest. Now, that didn't hurt so much because I was frozen and I slept through most of it and was in a coma. So that, that one, as far as on the pain scale of things that have been physically painful to me, that was probably one of the least painful things that ever happened to me, although it was probably on to other people the most dramatic and the biggest change that affected anything in my life. Although on a scale of physical pain, I would say it wasn't as physically painful as other things I've experienced. I had kidney stones, I had two kids, I've had eye problems, I've had um, arthritis and all kinds of chronic illnesses and bogus, ridiculous things throughout my life. So from a, on a physical scale of one to 10, yeah, that didn't even reach a before for me because it, it didn't physically but mentally emotionally and spiritually that was hugely painful and I don't know if it was so much painful as it put me on a journey of massive personal change and choice and it definitely changed the trajectory and the direction of my life but as far as being physically painful it wasn't so painful now what I've discovered and learned about myself and I think other people have learned it about themselves as well is if we're in intense pain in any area of our life, be it mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, financial, if we're feeling pain in any area of our life, it tends to seep over and impact other areas of our life. I like to think that I've got physical pain in this little purple bubble or egg and I keep it, keep it there. But there are some days I wake up, like today, for example, I can feel a migraine coming on. I can I felt it for a couple of days and I it's it's interesting. I can feel it. It starts behind my eyes and the back of my head works its way up and gets behind my eyes. And I think my 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 particular migraines, although I've got no diagnosis, are caused by uh, inflammation in my eyes. You know, some people get inflammation in their joints, and I've had that since I was in my twenties, but the inflammation mine for some reason sets in my eyes. Obviously, there's something I don't want to see in my world and in my life, and that's true, been true for a long time. 
but um, that's where it goes. And so it, it starts to swell and then it gives me migraines. So I can feel a headache coming on, but it doesn't matter. I still am going to move throughout my day and move throughout my life in spite of the pain. And that's the philosophy I've had to adopt. And I really recommend to everyone that there are ways that you can compartmentalize the pain. And I have a, a really cool strategy of not focusing on the pain, focusing on the, the time in, in between the pain. And that's how I've been able to function and cope with chronic pain. And you can do that with physical pain. You can do it with mental pain, emotional pain, relationship pain, financial pain. You can do it with everything because the world works that we get what we focus on in life. So if I am focusing on the pain, and I did this for like three years, I was bedridden. I focused on and I was focusing on and thinking about how much I hurt, how much pain I was in. And that's all I could think about. Well, guess what? I kept getting more of it. It kept getting worse and worse and worse to the point where the doctors couldn't do anything for me. They gave up. They said, we're done. We've got nothing. You've tried all the medications that are available at this time. You've tried all the procedures that are available at this time. We can't diagnose what's wrong with you. Good luck. Go home. Stay in bed. We'll see you in three to six months, depending on who the specialist was. Um, really devastating. And that's what happens in a lot of areas of our life. We lose a loved one. Somebody dies. We, um, we go through different experiences where we lose a relationship. We end a relationship or a relationship is ended for us, uh, like divorce or breakups. Everybody, almost all of us, if we're old enough, have gone through some kind of a heartbreak, right? Uh, me, literally. Uh, there's just so many different things and aspects about pain, and I'm going to start talking about it more because I have kept it carpet compartmentalize. I think in corporate America, I don't think in corporate America through my entire years of working in corporate America, which was over a quarter century, I don't think that anyone knew about my health challenges. Only once when I had to have kidney surgery, emergency kidney surgery, <laughs> did the people that I work with know that I have health challenges, big health challenges, not little health challenges, big health challenges. For some reason, in my family, there have been some unbelievably bizarre health challenges. You know, my mom's got this weird blood disease. It's only found in Jewish women, which, you know, she's Catholic and she can't go back to trace anybody in her lineage that's ever been Jewish. So how does she have this blood disease? Me, I had the sudden cardiac arrest and a whole lot of other things. I have a sister that makes my, my medical history and my physical pain look like um, a stubbed toe compared to hers. So each of us are dealt a different hand in life and it's how we react to it, what we do with it and how we deal with it that matters. But I will say pain does color and affect everything that we do and it, it's whatever type of pain. And so I, I just wanted to bring it up and say I am going to be talking about it more. I hope it doesn't offend anyone because I guarantee you've got some kind of pain in your life and the only reason it will offend you is because you don't want to face up to that pain. And that's kind of a bold statement, but that's what I found to be true with myself. And it's probably true for you as well. So working on the 90 day challenge today, today is day 51 of that. I'm going to do that. I see my beautiful little granddaughter just showed up. So I'm going to say goodbye and I will catch you all tomorrow. Have an absolutely fantastic day.